Yes, the script is written, and um, there is a greater destiny and also a destiny to the path that you will seem to take. The reason that psychics can sometimes read the future with great accuracy is because they're reading the past. And all of the script is past, it's just that um, through the trick of the ego it seems like there is some of the script that is yet to come. And so, within the noodle, within linear time, the, some of the patterns will seem to repeat, but as you practice miracles they seem to be softer and lighter and lighter. Recently, when I was in Ireland, we watched a movie called The Jacket, that uh, Stephen Soderbergh and, and uh, George Clooney produced. You might remember them from Solaris, too. They were both, they co collaborated on Solaris as well. And so, this man would, as a, as a mental psychological treatment, was put in a, in a straitjacket and slipped into a morgue. And he had all these memories come flashing. As soon as he would go in uh, into the drawer, he would have all these memories flashing of, of his lifetime, of different times in his life, like of a, of a future life. And yet, throughout the movie, um, he seemed to go through a forgiveness process where um, his perception got lighter and lighter, until at the very end, the last scene was um, of him uh, perceiving himself in, in the future, more than f in the distant future, with this blazing light, uh, just everything going to light. So, only through the ego does time seem to move from past to future. And as you train your mind to listen to the Holy Spirit, you, you loosen from this uh, perspective on things to approach a, a simultaneous perception. And that's the point. That's where the, the noodle is turned to the point. And that's also the quantum field we talk about, or the forgiven world. Because to the Holy Spirit, time is simultaneous. So the noodle is completely undone. But it seems disorienting and disjunctive. And uh, you might say even a, a bit uh, disturbing as you're going through the translation, which is really what that movie was about. He was disturbed as long as he tried to figure it out, but when he just, uh, at the end, uh, it was very, very beautiful. So in traditional psychotherapy, um, the therapist will help look for something in the past, uh, the past memories that was a trigger, but we, we begin to see that our state of mind is based on a present decision. And we practice with that present decision. So, uh, this is very empowering the deeper you get into it because you realize that you cannot figure anything about linear time. You cannot figure it out. And in traditional psychotherapy, it was always about um, dream analysis. But you could say A Course in Miracles is more s synonymous with lucid dreaming. So, really, it's about training your mind to become aware of dreaming, the awareness of dreaming. And you can see how empowering that will be because you cannot be harmed when you are aware that you are dreaming. It also relates to the last question that we had before the break. Uh, while death seems to be an, an activity or an action within the dream, then uh, you cannot escape from it. And you can never understand it. So we can never understand why anyone dies. But when you clean the filter of your mind and you allow the spirit to dissolve away the ego, then the death wish has been healed and you see the world differently. So that's really our purpose for joining, is, is coming together to have that healing of the mind.